putting a YouTube clip into a Moodle page is really quite simple. Um, we can put it onto the front page of your course. Um, you could put it into um, this section here. Um, let's see, what we need to do is we need to get the embed code from a YouTube clip. So here's a YouTube clip. If you click on share and then embed, and then we just you know, copy that. And then we go back to the middle. You can't just paste it in here like that because if you do, it's just going to paste in the text. What you need to do is you need to tell it that you're pasting in some code. So you need to click on this edit HTML source button. If you do that, another little window opens up, then you paste it. And when you click update, you'll see a video appearing there in that window. We can make that bigger. Save the changes. And if it doesn't appear the first time on your page, which is a little bug of, of uh, Chrome, there it is. Now, your page is quickly going to get cluttered up if you've got them sitting there um, in the summary of your topics. So you might be better off putting them into a page. So if we go add a resource, page, give it a name, uh, we leave the description blank, and we do the same process down here in the page content. Click on the HTML button, paste in our code, update, and save. Return to course. Then here we have a link to the page I just put in there called blah. If I click on blah, there we have it, a separate page for it. Now, just having the, the video like that is one thing, but what you could also do is you could put some uh, some words with that video. I'll show you another useful button here. It's toggle full screen. Click on that just to make it full screen. Uh, I can um, type in something like uh, watch the video and summarize in three sentences. Or you could have a list of questions, or um, you could tell them to watch a particular part of the video. Okay, watch this video and summarize in three sentences. And there you go, then someone could do that. Um, and you don't need to limit it to just one video, you could um, embed multiple videos there. I can just do it again. Um, and you know, they could be uh, videos that follow on from each other and so on. Uh, so I'll s click back on toggle. And I can save it or cancel. I'll just cancel for now because I don't really want all that stuff in there. But Blah's there. I'm not really limited to um, YouTube clips. There's lots of other services online that will give you an embed code. So if I just go back in there again, you know, toggle full screen, and I'll um, just type in Blah so I can see where I am. There we go. Oh, Blah. Um, I could also embed, um, for example, a PowerPoint. You may not have heard of SlideShare, which is a service where, just like uploading a video, you upload your PowerPoint. And uh, anyone can see it then, or uh, you can see other people's PowerPoints on the same topic, and they give you the option to embed too. So if you click on Embed, uh, it says copy and paste this code, copy, and then if I go back to my page here, and I go back into the HTML, Paste in the code down here, go update, and that um, slide share PowerPoint's there as well. Um, when you're showing the class, you can click on view full screen and it'll come out full screen. Um, and there's there's other things too. I mean, there's a, there's a service called uh, the New Hive, which allows you to make um, like a basic web page of any type. And someone here's made one on uh, classification and body systems of invertebrates. If I click on share there, you can see they've also got an embed code. So I'll copy that. I'll copy. Um, oops. And then over here, I'm going to click on HTML again and paste it in. Okay, update. Now let's see what happens there. Here we go. So their PowerPoint, well not their PowerPoint, their web page is, is fully included there as well. Uh, you can go there and sign up for free and make your own if you like to make really, really pretty pages.
so if I'm happy with the content I've got there, I just uh, click on toggle again, save it and return to the course. So it's all tucked away there in blah, and I don't have it cluttering up my homepage for my course.